uh, these things happen now to you know right over here that i've changed the password so i have to put the correct one for future if this happens then i'll know what it is oh this is different now so they change also hello are you I'm there here. yes okay yeah. no what happened why why am i frozen over here okay this is like a different way of showing it, but uh, full screen. Okay. Okay, back, back to it. Okay, we are live, but I think we are back in uh, in Zoom, if I'm not mistaken. Let me no, see. No, it says live on Facebook, Minaji. Yes, it is live. Okay. Yeah, it says we, we get, I'm seeing the notification on my screen. So, we but are it, you know what? They've changed. Some things have changed again. So, that's why maybe they're giving me some trouble. <clears throat> So, okay. folks, if you're there, I'm going to be going into my account. I'm going to see you guys in one second. Uh, Should I hit my live button now or no? Yes? No? Not yet. Oh, we're not, we're not there yet. Okay. We, didn't have, we haven't got anybody okay. yet. I want to see you guys in one um, second. Uh, Should yeah. I hit my live button now or no? Yes? Just wait no. until everybody not gets yet. some. Not okay. 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 So, let's see. I'm going to say welcome. We're getting that echo. Just wait until everybody gets some. Yes, yes, yes. Let me do that. Yeah. Okay, this is coming from mine because I was... Uh, now, I don't know if everybody can see me or not. I have no idea. So let's request anybody that's tuning in. Please drop your comments yeah. in the comment section and uh, say a quick hello. Give us a number one in the comments if you can hear us. If you can nice, you're there. Properly. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Kamlesh Ji, Ramaji. So Facebook settings have changed. So just a, just a quick request. Yeah. If you are able to see us and hear us, give us a one and a two. Um, can you comments. just let's say a shout out, let's say hi or something that you're there. I yeah. know I can see you now. You're welcome. Welcome, ladies. So Ramaji is watching. Kamlesh, yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ramaji. Uh, as uh, happens once in a while, that they, the Zoom and... Uh, Facebook they really really attest me. Uh, so, uh, you know, no, 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what happens once in a while, they kind of test you. Hi, Kiran, how are you? They test you that you are you the same Vina Lamba or somebody else. So then they want you to do the whole credentials, uh, log in, change the password. Yeah. You to verify everything. So you have to do everything new. And then that takes a couple of minutes. So I'm sorry if I'm a little bit late. But uh, we have over here today a special program uh, with the... Uh, Looper. Looper Arora, the chef. She has her own uh, company and everything. She'll explain that to you. And then we have, of course, Nandini Ji right here with me and uh, <clears throat> our, our Thursday team. Today, we're not going to be talking about Bollywood. Today, we're going to talk about something more special than that. And guess what What that is? It's really and going to talk about Mother Mother Day, Day. Mother's Day special. So Mother's Day is just around the corner on Sunday. And um, Nupal, we just spoke to her last week. And I said, how about doing something live? Uh, she said, OK, I'll make something very simple. Everybody can do that. Here she is, Nupur, and then Nandini ji. Nandini can also give some tips. And yeah, so Nandini ji, you start your introduction because then I'm going to hit the live button and then... Any, a, anything for motherhood. Anything for motherhood, right? Okay. right. Go for it. Kiran, hi. Good morning, Kiran. friend. Hi. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you. Thank you for watching us so religiously and being our uh, ardent fans of Thursday on Dildiya Galla. We look forward to having an exciting program with Nupur and Veena ji. Nupur is going to definitely show us some very exciting and... So Nandini ji is going to be responsible for, for taking screenshots and Veena ji is responsible for moderating the comments. Veena, um, you are able to yes. see the comments, right? Yes, I can see the comments. Okay, perfect. So any questions that you all have while I'm cooking, just drop it in the chat so that Veena ji can look at it and she can, you know, ask me out loud. I am not able to see Facebook because I'm in through Zoom. But if you have any questions, if you want to know any suggestions or if you have any plans, we'll talk about what each one of us is doing for Mother's Day. But that's, of course, much later. 
I'm also going live on my Facebook page, Queen's Curry Kitchen. So there might be a chance when I'm looking at this camera and not that camera. So pardon that. But all in all, it should be a lot of fun. And I will try to do three recipes, like really quick, easy recipes. Okay. Wow. So let me quickly. Okay. Let's step into Nupur's kitchen. Ah, welcome. <laughs> okay. Let me just tie all the things. Loose clothes near the stove. Loose top. clothes tied, near the stove. Queen's, Queen's Curry tied, Kitchen. Hair. Uh, tied. She's a uh, Nupur is always always busy. So I was telling her something. There. She said I'm busy until Sunday night. I said, you know what? And Monday I'm partying with you. Monday I'm with you. Good morning, so, everybody. Welcome to the Queen's Curry Kitchen. Today I am with none other than the gorgeous Vina Lamba from Dildia Gala, which is a radio, TV, uh, multiple media presentation that she does every day for the South Asian community. And we are making Mother's Day brunch. So today I'm gonna to showcase three recipes. One is going to be an egg shakshuka, which is very Middle Eastern inspired, but it's also very popularly eaten by uh, my family because my mother-in-law is from Sin. And I guess it, there was just some kind of inflow into yes. India and they make that as well. I will also be making a very simple cucumber sandwich, which everybody can make. I'm doing the gluten-free version, but if you do gluten, by all means. Good morning, Bob. Welcome to the Queen's Curry Kitchen. I'm also going to be doing zucchini fritters, which is a very, very common Middle Eastern brunch item. And this is made with zucchini. So I have some prep that I've done ahead of time. But the best thing to do is to start the most time consuming thing first. So before we do anything else, we are going to start working on our shakshuka. I'm going to tilt this camera so y'all can see the pan. And if you have any problems seeing anything, then just let me know in the comments so I can adjust the camera angles and whatnot, okay? So into a hot pan, first thing that goes in is olive oil. I'm doing this with light olive oil. You can do it with ghee. You can do it with any neutral oil of your choice. Okay, I've highlighted you in in the Zoom. Oh, thank you. So I then uh, I think it's in, the, in a live coming live has highlighted. Good. Yes. Then, oh, yeah. super. So no, this is my sandwich board that I'm going to get to in a minute. <clears throat> Once the oil is hot, everything that I will be making in this shakshuka is tomato based. You can also use a combination of garlic and tomatoes and basil. If you want to make it the Indian style, you will focus more on cilantro as the herb of choice instead of basil. And that's totally a matter of personal preference. My mother-in-law does not use garlic, <clears throat> but if you really want to take it into the Mediterranean spin, feel free to use garlic. Just make sure whenever you make any Mediterranean or continental style dishes, do not wait for the oil to heat up to add your garlic. Add garlic to cold oil so that it will stay with the, uh, it'll infuse gradually into the food and it will stay till the end. So that's the difference between Indian cooking and country cooking. You don't add anything to hot oil. <clears throat> the garlic goes into cold oil. Okay, so the tomatoes go in. As soon as you add the tomatoes, always add the entire amount of salt that you're going to need for this dish, okay? Okay. So basically, you have to make a paste out of these tomatoes. <clears throat> you can use a combination of canned and fresh. These are Roma tomatoes. You can use plum tomatoes, beef steak tomatoes, whatever. I've added some turmeric. Uh, what's and the name of the dish again? Some... Sorry to interrupt you. What's the name of the dish again? I want to repeat it. Shakshuka. S-H-A-K. S-H-U-K-A. <clears throat> okay, shashuka. Okay. My mother-in-law also likes to add coriander seed powder, so I'm going to add that. This is dhania powder. We're going to give it a quick stir. Okay, so if you eat chilies, if you like heat, then add a squirt of hot sauce or add green chilies at this point. If you don't, then you can absolutely skip that step. My heat is medium-high, and as soon as the salt touches the tomatoes. You can see it gets to work and it starts to release a lot of moisture, right? So we are going to keep this right on the pan, on the stove, cover it and let it do its thing. Okay. In the meantime, while that is happening, we are going to move to making our zucchini fritters. Okay. And for that, we need some very simple ingredients. Are you going to fry them? Uh, you want to be frying them or how you do that? Yes, I'm going to shallow fry them. You can deep fry them. You can also air fry them. You can okay. make them. Hello, Kina. Good morning. I am making a Mother's Day brunch in which I'm doing a shakshuka. I'm doing zucchini fritters and I'm going to be doing cucumber sandwiches just for the moms in our lives. 
my mouth is watering already. All you know, right, so come mm -hmm. on over. <laughs> I'm going to switch this out just so that the camera focuses better on what I'm working closely on. So guys, audience, everybody there, friends, I mean, you got some ideas for I Mother's Day? I hope we have your attention and I hope you're... Yes. Oh, happy Mother's Day to you. Yeah, it is super early, but you know what? Yeah, Better but... early than late. I am catering parties on Saturday and Sunday, so I really will not have the time to do this. Actually, there's a bridal shower that I'm catering on uh, Saturday and zucchini fritters is going to be one of the things that I'm going to be making. And for Sunday's uh, brunch, shakshuka is one of the dishes that I'm going to be making. So you know what? You are literally getting a front row seat to my cooking studio to my chef life without ever having to buy a ticket okay so since we are going to deep fry the, the shallow fry the zucchini fritters i am going to put some oil in my pan and i'm going to allow this to heat i haven't done any prep yet i'm going to show you what all goes into making the batter for the zucchini fritters okay anupur what kind of what what kind of oil is that this one is a light olive oil okay it's not the green one. If you if you want to make it in the green one, you can. Mediterranean dishes really taste very good if you have a very good quality olive oil. So mm -hmm. yes. no harm in doing that. Just don't yeah. overheat it. You can also make all these dishes in ghee. It tastes absolutely phenomenal. Really? Okay, so this is my one zucchini that I've rated oh. with the okay, skin on. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, uh, take a second, Upur. I yeah. just want to uh, give a little quick tip here. There is also a combination of oils which is uh, available in um, the supermarket. It has olive oil and the vegetable oil. So oh. you get the taste of both and you can fry in that. And it, the smoking point on that is very high. You can actually you know, go to the frying uh, because most of the olive oils, you know, you they cannot very fry. Low smoking point. They're yes. not, uh, yeah. And then the food tends to have like an aftertaste, especially yes. for us Indian palates. I feel yeah. like we get that aftertaste of the olives, which we don't appreciate. So it's the Middle Eastern so, oil that you get in the supermarket. So there it's is also a available in Costco. I'm just going to tell That's my good. Queen's Curry Kitchen friends on mm -hmm. this screen. So Nandini Ji, who is on our Zoom session and on DDG, just mentioned that there is a combination of vegetable oil and olive oil that you can buy from the supermarket. You can use that. It has a very high smoking point. So you can actually fry stuff. You can actually saute stuff for prolonged periods of time. I'm just going to show you the quick progress on the tomatoes and how it's looking right now. You see how much moisture wow. comes out of it? Yes. Okay. So this is, this is the idea. Like Once it starts to release the moisture, we're going to wait for all the tomatoes to break down. But we are not trying to dry the tomatoes. In this liquid that is happening, we are going to poach our eggs as if we were frying it in the tomatoes instead of frying it in the oil. So we're going to put the cover right back on and um, turn the heat to medium. <clears throat> now, one more quick question. If somebody is a vegetarian, then can you skip the, the egg part or not? Uh, no, for vegetarians, now there is a product that's called Just Egg. Just if you're eggs. vegetarian yes. or vegan, there is a product called Just Egg okay. and you get it in the section where you have the cheeses and the juices. And yes. it's like a yellow bottle. It's a yellow liquid, which is made from, I think, uh, moon beans. And it's made from tapioca starch. Yes. To mimic the texture, it's to mimic delicious. The texture of eggs. It's delicious. So really? my, I have to try it. You use easy, it on Tuesdays want, because not in And I really don't want my area. fire alarm to go off. So I've taken the stove off, the oil off the heat a little bit. Okay, now, since we are not going to make the entire quantity here, I'm going to work on a much smaller quantity. I just wanted to show you what an entire zucchini yields. This is one entire mm -hmm. zucchini. This is how much you get. Wow. So it's a very uh, a lot. economical recipe. We are wow. going to squeeze out. I'm just going to work with this much, which is a handful. And I will squeeze out some of the liquid. Now, you don't want it to be bone dry because you want that moisture. You want your uh, fritters to taste really moist. So you're not going to do an overkill with squeezing the liquid out. I'm just going to go over the sink, squeeze it, and be right back. And you can do it in a in a strainer. You can do it in a cheesecloth. Okay. Just don't make it all the way dry. Squeeze it a little bit and then leave it moist a little bit. Okay. So I am back. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It does have a little bit of moisture. The okay. first thing that's going to go in is one clove of garlic. If you don't have garlic, you can use garlic powder. That's fine too. Mm-hmm. So you grate that in, into that uh, zucchini. Yeah, I'm grating it directly into the zucchini. You can also grate your onion right into here. 
I just don't like to grate everything. Whenever I make any kind of fritters, I like the textural contrast. So if I'm chopping something, I will grate another thing. If I'm grating something, then I'll powder a third thing just to keep it interesting in terms of textures, right? So right. usually people will grate uh, the onions right into here. I'm not grating it. I'm just going to use chopped tomatoes. Hello, so hello. Yes, I am live. <laughs> My friend is asking me, hey, Nupur, are you live? Yes, it's me. Okay, okay so, so now you just uh, have the bad, I have the zucchini and yeah. you have the oil and you just, just put it in there. That's it. No, 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 uh, no, no. We're not, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. The next thing that goes in is an egg. So again, if you oh. don't eat eggs, you can use just egg. And if you really want to basify this recipe, you can use basin or chickpea flour. One whole oh, egg. That's what I was going to ask. That's, that's yeah. what I was going to ask you. Can we use a chickpea so flour? If you're vegetarian, or? just use the... Um, Chickpea flour. Okay, that's Although right. it won't taste quite the same. Right? Right. So now we're going to go in and add a little bit of baking powder. Not baking mm -hmm. soda, just a tad bit of baking, baking powder. powder. Hi, Bharti. Good morning to you. Welcome to the Queen's Curry Kitchen. We are doing a Mother's Day brunch for all the people just joining in on DDG. Just adding a little pinch of baking powder. Mm -hmm. If your baking powder is old, make sure you run it through a sieve or a strainer so that there are no lumps of baking powder. The next thing that's going to go in is just good old flour, just whole wheat flour, oh, or bleached okay. flour, whatever you have, maida. And I've added just a tad bit of cornstarch to this, okay? okay? So just maybe a tablespoon of it, not too much. If you add too much flour, then it becomes kind of tough and you don't want... No. You don't want tough zucchini fritters you want very soft and moist and just like tempura like when you make zucchini batter don't over mix it like cake batter don't over mix anything just keep it you just do a couple of swirls and everything gets incorporated you're in a good place now i'm gonna add um okay uh, yes. don't worry. we have to refresh ourselves because some people join late sure and they don't know exactly what so you're let making. me go back into the tamsuka recipe this is oil that I heated up in this pan, I added one and a, I added two and a half tomatoes and a salt, turmeric and coriander seed powder for all the people that are just tuning in. Also, don't forget to catch the replay. If you missed something, if we keep going back, yeah, and forth, exactly. we'll never catch uh, up. Uh, so yes. do, do remember to catch the replay. These are really, really simple recipes. Uh, I'm eyeballing everything. I don't have a written measurement, but I'm just telling you right off the cuff what it is. This is actually and a this is Charles, up to right? three people. Right, so spoon. tomatoes are breaking down as soon as you add salt to the tomatoes. Saute them for two seconds and then add, cover your pan. When it gets to this stage, when it's as liquid as this and most of the tomatoes have broken down, that's the time when you're going to break your egg. Right, not your egg, chicken egg. Right. No, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I know. But uh, it's a Middle Eastern recipe, right? Yeah, it's a Middle Eastern okay. recipe. Middle I just Eastern. want to explain to the couple of ladies who just joined. So I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer so you can see, and then I'll move it back to the other burner. So okay. you just take an egg. Now, I've, I've done this many times, so I break it right on top of the pan. But if you've not had too much experience with cracking an egg and putting it in there, you can always gather it in a bowl and drop it. But I right. like to do it one at a time because then that way you can spread out where it sits. Mm -hmm. And basically, this dish is usually served in the pan in which it's cooked. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you don't really mess around with it. You don't touch it too much after it's been done, right? So how many it's eggs? Rough. Two eggs? How many eggs do you need? Oh, I'm putting four eggs for two people. So oh. depending on yeah, depending on how many dishes you're serving. If this is the only dish you're serving, then factor two to three eggs per person. If uh, you're serving multiple things and this is just a part of the brunch, then you can factor one egg per person because then you have a whole spread from which they'll be eaten. Uh, so Nooper is actually uh, showing us some uh, some good uh, items or good things for Easy uh, Mother's Day brunch. Mother's Day, Mother's Day brunch. So this and, is a uh, thing. I yeah. don't, I don't mean anybody to be ambitious and make all three, but if you can just make one or two, that should be fine too. And you know, depending on if you eat eggs, if you don't eat eggs, there's just so many right. variables, right? So like, this uh, is how it looks as soon as it drops into the hot uh, tomatoes. All the yolks are intact, and it's a matter of personal preference if you like to um, eat hard yolks or soft yolks, whatever it is. But it starts to cook, right? So as soon as that happens, you're going to go in here, turn up the flame to medium high, crack in some black pepper. Now, remember, we've already added the salt to the tomatoes, right? Right. Mm -hmm. 
So now we only have to have enough salt to cover the egg. And eggs by default have a very salty uh, taste. Yes. So just add a little bit of salt right on top of each egg. And then I also like to add a hint of paprika powder just because it gives a beautiful color. So I'm yes. going to sprinkle it and I'm going to bring it back to the screen so y'all can get a closer look at what it looks like. And this is just super appetizing. Some people also like to add cheese to their shakshuka, especially if you go to Turkey or whatever, they will add cheese. Some people like to add spinach. So you know what? Make it your own. Do what makes you happy. There's now, no hard crust. Yes. At what point do you put basil or cilantro in it? If you're putting cilantro, don't put it into the oil. Put it into the liquid. If you want maximum flavor out of cilantro, then put it. Put the stems. Mm -hmm. basil you can whenever you use basil always rip it up and put it try not to cut it or try not to uh, cut it. okay what was that what was that what is what is what is this a sad i uh, put spring onions the just the green part of the spring onions right oh. here on top and i put cilantro okay. so you can see the eggs are continuing to cook and i've just stopped it you can see the little uh, pinches of paprika yeah. that i put yes. on top yes see that. and now i'm just going to cover it so literally i have to poach these eggs in that tomato paste that's what's going on. So it no, takes about 15, So the whole thing takes about 15, 20 minutes to make or more? Not even. Yeah. Now, if you do like canned tomatoes or something, it, it could go faster than that. Much faster. Okay. okay. So now our batter has rested for a couple of minutes. I am going to go ahead and add Nigella seeds, which is Kalonji. Oh, yeah. This mm -hmm. is what really gives it a nice Turkish flavor. And yeah. you may have eaten this dish in Turkish restaurants, in Middle Eastern restaurants, and you've paid an arm and a leg, and you get like two appetizers for two pieces of this I for $13 know. or yes. whatever. Yes. Right? So that's going to give it that characteristic flavor. I am going to add a little bit of salt. Not too much. Like I said, eggs already have an inherent salty flavor. A mm -hmm. pinch of paprika. You can add turmeric if you want. I just don't add it. Okay, so add that to paprika instead. That's for the yes, color. I add paprika because I don't eat milchi. So if you if you eat milchi, you can add cayenne pepper if you like heat, go for it. I just don't eat any kind of heat in my food, so I don't add any of those things. Okay. All right. If anybody has any comments, any questions, if you've made this before in your house, let me know. I'm gonna add some parsley flakes just to give it a little yes, no poor. Oh, I have a question. Have a lot of people over here watching. So, like Nupur is asking, is there any question or anything that you want? Nupur, to repeat bring the oil back. Something. Nupur, I have a question yeah. while yes, you are sure. making that. Please let us know. Now, many people uh -huh. I know they don't eat garlic. Okay. Right? Now, for the flavor, can that be substituted with a shallot? Well, most people that don't eat garlic won't eat shallot either. No, because garlic, uh, shallot is not very powerful in that taste and it just has that little flavor that so you can uh, use heen, is not overpowering. You can use asafoetida if you don't want to use, you can you can use, use shallot. Okay. Shallots are super mild. Also, you can yeah. use shallots after you finish cooking. So you can just top it with finely chopped shallots. You can do that. Right? Yeah. So there's because many ways to incorporate that. Yeah. So many people, you know, when I know they don't like the taste of garlic in the food, Okay. You eat an onion or something like yeah, that. Yeah, if you don't so, eat garlic, you can use onions, you can use shallots, you can use spring onions, any of that okay. is possible, okay? Now my oil is hot. I'm just going to test it. When I dip my wooden spoon in there, it should form bubbles around it, which it is doing right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you test your oil. I put a little bit of uh, atta or something in it to check. Yeah, so if you, put your, if you dip your wooden spoon around it, you'll see bubbles, yeah, right? That's true. So, okay, so I'm going to take two spoons and just oh okay i think it needs a little more flour but you know just always test with one first to see that yeah it's not it's falling like apart. the same thing like making pakoras right it's the yeah, same, same thing. thing and yeah. when you when you do that then once you drop it in just press it down with yeah. the same spoon flatten and then take it the spoon, a dip it in the oil and oil the spoon so that nothing sticks to the back of the spoon okay right, so it's literally right, like right. making your spoons non-stick yeah. let me flip the camera just a little bit more so you can get a better mm -hmm. view DDG, is the view good? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. That's the way okay. we make the pakoras too. Same thing. Yes. Hey, Tim. Good morning. We are making Mother's Day recipes. I am making zucchini fritters from the Middle East. I'm also making an egg shakshuka for you. You can do it with just egg. You can do it with tofu. So oh, one more time. and then just press it down. And always make sure that the heat is, you know, 
because of the baking powder, this is going to brown very quickly. So by the time you finish making it, this is already starting to brown. So you can lower the heat at this one just so that you can control everything better. And you saw with a handful of zucchini how much I'm getting. Like I'm making so many fritters. Anupur, can I ask you a question? Sure. After you make this, are you going to eat everything? Yes. I won't eat the fritters <laughs> because they have... No, because this, this has gluten, so I won't be eating these. No, but, but the cucumber sandwich I'm going to do with gluten free bread and I also eat eggs. Yeah, I want to so see I that. Eat. That yeah. I want to see. The cucumber sandwich. Yeah. 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 So I this won't be eating uh... the zucchini fritters because this is gluten, but. Right. Nubur. Yes. Now, the other question is you said sure. you can do it, you do these in the air fryer, right? Yes, you can. Yeah. You can do this in the air fryer, just spray it nicely and mm -hmm. toss it in there. And right. already, I, it's very fragrant right now. I am going to try to pick it up. Hello, Rebecca. Good morning to you. I am making a Mother's Day brunch. So whether you're cooking for your mom or you're cooking for your children's grandmothers, your mother-in-laws, or just cook for yourself. Hey, you know what? I'm an empty nester. Nobody's coming. <laughs> My daughter did send the chocolates early uh, for Mother's Day, and she sent a beautiful handwritten note. Mm -hmm. But no one's gonna come and cook for me, so I'm just gonna do it for myself. Hey, why not, right? I, I got a beautiful flowers from Kamlesh Ji. She's right here. Thank you so much, Kamlesh Ji. Once again, it looks like a cake. It looks so cake. Good. Beautiful cake. It does look it like a cake. cake. It looks like a cake. And I was mm -hmm. first time I saw. I said, really? "Is this really yeah, fl flowers, or shall I open really? it up? Maybe there's a cake inside." My husband said, "They cook cake, Tony, and there is cake." I said, "No, it's only flowers." So cute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, so now, now that I have all my ducks in tow, I can actually increase the heat because I know okay. that I'm fully focused on this, right? Okay. Don't yes. forget that you have another thing on the stove top. I, so yeah, you don't want to I do. that stepmotherly treatment. You don't want the eggs to overcook. Now, if you like the yolks to be hard, then you can cook it for some extra time. But if you like the soft, sunny side egg, then keep an eye on it, okay? Because I like the side. Yes. A yes. question or? Sure. Uh, that uh, egg dish. If you don't want to serve it in that uh, pan that you're cooking, uh -huh. right? So can that be also transferred to yeah, a dish? Yeah, I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you how I transfer it. So this is no, pretty much done. Can we bake it in the oven also? Yes, you can bake it in a foil foil pan or you can bake it in a casserole and you can stick it in the oven. That's what, what I, I do is I cut around the egg. So these are completely done. I like mm -hmm. the little bit of liquid because whenever you're using any breads or flatbreads, mm -hmm. you want to soak up all the tomato we brought. Mm -hmm. And I like to just cut around it. Once the yolk has somewhat taken some shape and the white has taken some shape, then you can just lift it up and put the tomatoes on the base and then put the cooked egg on top mm. and that's no, 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 but what do you what do you eat this with rice or something or bread no, you eat this you eat this with pizza bread you eat this with garlic okay. bread you can eat any kind of okay that's what i was wondering yeah but rice you can't put in the rice can you my family eats it with with chapatis okay yeah for breakfast but if you're if you're traveling in turkey or you're in the middle east you'll get like a pide bread or you'll yeah, get, pita bread. Yeah, get a bread. whatever pita it is bread. that they're going to serve you that's what you're sourdough gonna bread tastes very good yeah, yeah. sourdough as well that's true. Especially if you have spinach in this and cheese, then you do it with sourdough. It tastes really, really good. Yeah. Okay. So these are what the fritters are looking right now. And you can see some of them are, are dark. Some of them are light because yeah. we put them all at different times. So we're going to allow this some time to cook. And don't be, um, don't start panicking if you see that the sides are crisping up a little bit or they're a little bit brown. It's okay. It's not going to burn. Our heat is on medium. One dish is already done. How many minutes have we been into this thing? So we have been into this thing about 15, 20 minutes. The fritters are almost done. The eggs are done. Now I'm going to jump to making the cucumber sandwich. Uh, one, my uh, Nupur, one person you inspired right away, that's Indra. She said she's going to make it on Saturday. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so are we invited or what? <laughs> she looks so delicious and she's going to make it for Saturday brunch. How about that's that? That's what I love to hear. Like, you know, if you see something, yeah. and I try to keep it as simple as possible, so that you can make it in your home, you can, you know, they look, not, uh, they look super simple, but you know, when you make it's it really simple, I mean, these are just ingredients that you have in your house and you know, summer yes. is here. So there is a, an abundance of squash. You can make this with Loki. Like if you don't have, I was, squash, just, gonna say, I was just gonna say that, can we make it with a Loki? Yeah. Make, and you know, in, in Turkey, they make it with pumpkin. They make it with, you could literally do it with any kind of vegetable that's going to hold up. 
But then right. they say their food is very similar to the Indian food then because this is like a pakora. It's very time. similar, but they don't use a whole lot of spices, Binaji. That's the thing. And the cooking yeah. techniques are very different. So they don't overcook anything. They don't um, saute anything for a long time. So that's where it's a little bit different. Okay. So I'm just going to drain the ones that are getting ready. I'm going to lift them off and drain them on a paper towel. I think the Indian people, I think Indians, they overcook everything, right? Yes, they do. And like overcook. even our cauliflower dishes, you know, any kind of vegetable, yeah. we really overcook it and I know. soften the crap out of it. Especially I mean, the I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of rare anything, like in in meat. Like I don't oh, like I don't rare. Like, I don't like rare. rare. I, rare. Rare. I like everything well done. But when it comes to vegetables, I like that little bit of crunch. Yeah. So if you like the crunch, you can actually try to make this with cabbage. It's going to taste absolutely oh. phenomenal. Wow. Yeah, you can make it with good. cabbage and you can mm -hmm. serve it with like a Thai sweet dipping sauce or like a soy based sauce and it's going to be really, really good. Or you can just serve it with hot sauce, which is a sriracha mayonnaise or something or honey sriracha okay. dipping sauce. You can you can give it a very Asian twist, right? So conceptually, it's going to be the same thing, but you can just take it to any part of the world that you want to take it, depending on what. Oh, um, uh, what is what is the Turkish? What kind of what kind of a sauce do they use? With this thing they don't serve this with any sauce it's just eaten by itself and sometimes it's eaten with a big dollop of yogurt so in their food there's a lot of dairy so there's green yogurt, yogurt. Yeah. very lot of yogurt yes cream yogurt. cheese there's lebne so all yes. of this is i'm actually going to plate an entire thing after we're done so you'll see how all the accompaniments and the accoutrements work i have everything set up so i'll do that okay, okay. one thing you can also add to your zucchini fritters is dill and dill is mm -hmm. an herb that looks like this Del, yeah, I don't that's... know what it's called in Hindi, but this is what it looks like. It looks like little oh, pine needle. Uh, but you also have it in a, uh, like a... Yeah, you get it in a bunch too. Bunch. Del, D -I -L -L. Del is sohe. Sohe, huh? okay. Haan, Hindi ka naam kya? Sohe, right? I don't know what it's called in Hindi. So, sohe or something like that. Yeah, man, I, mean, I, I know in Sindhi it's called like suwa. So, you know, suwa ji bhaji. Suwa ji, something like that. Yeah. Suwa. So, you can use dill. And so the combination of the garlic, the olive oil, the nigella seeds and the dill, it really is a great flavor profile. And it's very hearty for breakfast. Plus the eggs have their own flavor that they bring to the table. Right. I've just drained this out. Ramaji is saying soya. 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 Because it looks like swinya. That's what oh, it is. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So we have two two items that are already done. Let me just plate those. Okay. So we're gonna go with the zucchini fritters first. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just stack them up really nice. Yeah, of course. So Indra is saying that if you're eating Turkish food, then you have to eat it as a Turkish style. For that, we have to go to Turkey. Nupur, can we substitute sour cream? Sometimes, if you have yogurt, ah. vagara nahi ho, sour just cream. Use, hai. Yeah, you could use sour cream. If, if you don't have yogurt, then just use sour. Even in your lassi, like when you want to make lassi or when right. you want to make duk and you want to give it that authentic India wala taste, then even in your lassi dishes, add a little bit of sour cream along with yeah. the yogurt. It's really going to oh. elevate, it's going to elevate your uh, yogurt dishes. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, now, uh, Nandaniji, I'm going to go ahead and plate this the way I told you we would. So just mm -hmm. move the eggs to the side. Are you able to see properly? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, because so just see. move the eggs to the side. Okay, go mm -hmm. in for the tomatoes. And let's say you're only serving one portion or something, right? Mm -hmm. Get a spoon with which you can pick up the tomato -y broth, right? And just make a little puddle of it at the bottom. And, you know, some of the eggs also crumble at the bottom and they give it a nice... Right, right. Base. You can also use the bullet chilies, which are not that spicy. You can use little pieces of that. You can use bell peppers, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just a nice color explosion with the reds and the yellows. Now you can see I've done hard yolks only because I'm not serving this right now. This is probably going to be my husband's dinner. So oh. I fully cook the yolks. If you're going to use runny eggs, then just don't cook it to that point. Just make sure that the white part is well cooked. So that mm -hmm. you're not getting any raw egg. And also, if you plan to reheat it, you can leave it a little bit underdone. Hello, Nina. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Rebecca, good morning. Welcome to the Queen's Curry Kitchen. Okay, now we are going to go in with some cilantro and put that on here. Right? Mm -hmm. So you no need to serve it in the pan you made it in. You can actually serve it in a plate like this. Right? In a plate. Okay. Okay, so two, two of our dishes are done. Now we're going to move on to the 
third thing, which is going to be very simple, which is our cucumber sandwich. I would have loved you to do a dessert as well, but I just really don't have the time today. Right. So no, no, I'm uh, going to do a Mother's Day cake. I was going to do baklava, but it takes time, you know, to make mm -hmm. it and bake it. So I decided against it. However, जब तक आप अपने गैजेट से इकट्ठे करते हो सैंडविच के लिए एक क्विक टिप मैं दे दूं आपको एग डिशेस की सो आई नो वी ऑल लाइक टू मेक ऑमलेट्स एंड स्क्रैम्बल्ड एग्स इन द पैन यू नो सो मेनी टाइम्स व्हाट आई डू इज इफ आई एम लिटिल क्रिएटिव यू नो रनिंग लिटिल अपना रिलैक्स्ड मूड में स्क्रैम्बल द एग्स I take uh, onion, saute it nicely, ताकि उसमें पानी नहीं रहे You saute it to the point when it stops, uh, you know, sizzling. You add some peas and carrots, वो जो frozen वाले हैं. Add those mm -hmm. to that, and uh, some spinach and uh, kale. Make like a little uh, sabzi type kind of a thing. Add it to the एग बैटर जो आपने बनाया है ओवन सो यू टाइम इट फॉर अबाउट टेन ट्वेल्व मिनट्स यू कैन इवन डू इट इन दर फ्रायर नो मोर देन नो मोर देन टेन मिनट्स राइट एंड देन वेन यू यूर ऑलमोस्ट डन राइट गरम गरम पे यू पुट सम ग्रेटर चीज एंड लीव इट एंड देन यू आर रेडी टू ईट इट बिकम्स लाइक अ ग्लूटेन फ्री कीश सो ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ फ्रिटाटा ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ फ्रिटाटा बट नो नो फ्लावर नो आटा नो बेसन नो क्रस्ट इन दैट इट्स जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू जंप इनटू मेकिंग द क्यूकम्बर सैंडविच आई एम गोइंग टू स्लाइस देम एंड ईट देम एज वेजेस लाइक अ पिज्जा ओह ओह दैट्स Sounds really good. You know, you know, I make that in a in a different thing, like a, uh, you know, that na, yeah, those things. Maybe you make the pancake in pancakes. Yeah. Sorry, that. Us can make it. Can you? This thing. Yeah. Yes, that tastes really yeah, good. Yeah, you can make that it in that too. Yeah. yeah. So you, you can actually do that thing with this batter too, with the zucchinis. You can make it in the pancake yeah, maker. Exactly. You can make it in the waffle mm -hmm. maker. You just have to change yeah. the change the flour that you're using. Right. If you don't want to do gluten, you can uh, switch out to uh, rice flour. You can switch out to chickpea flour. You can do flour, almond yeah. flour, yeah. whatever you have. Especially if you're using egg in anything, and you use almond flour, it tastes really, really good. The texture almond comes flour really tastes good. really good because it is little dense and uh, yeah, and it's it's got that toasty flavor when it cooks yes. like that. Okay. So it's yeah, so Tim, I am flavor. also on a Zoom uh, program where we're on a radio slash TV Facebook show. so they are talking and you know we're sharing tips on how to do other things with eggs i think um, eggs are just so versatile all right so jumping into our cucumber sandwich i'm using a gluten free bread now i'm going to show you the technique of what all we put in here but this day looper can you give the name of the bread and is it uh, what kind of bread is that a gluten free i got this this is a huh? gluten free bread and it's from aldi's but there is a nice gluten free brand called shar this is this is from aldi's it's called live free Oh, this is a gluten free okay. bread okay um, you get gluten free breads everywhere meena ji yeah you get it in the regular supermarket, supermarket trader okay. joe's trader joe's has trader joe's has everything yeah, so yeah. there is a, there is a brand easy called s c h a r that's called shar s c h a r r that's a gluten free brand they do bread they do wraps but aldi i live right by one oh, okay. so they do aldi aldi is a good store yeah so okay. now yeah. Uh, if you're going to do this cucumber sandwich for evening tea then you're going to use the softest bread that you can get if you want to do it for brunch you're going to serve an open style sandwich like a crostini size mm -hmm. style sandwich if you don't have bread and you have those little crackers you can make the same thing for crackers and it's going to work really well mm -hmm. you can also toast the bread beforehand instead of using the white you know untoasted okay. bread okay for the spread basically remember whatever spread you're going to use especially in a closed sandwich that is going to be the glue for your sandwich right so right. some of the options are this is the mayo with dill that i made i put some mm -hmm. dill some mayo and some sriracha salt and pepper and some garlic powder so this is just an aioli it's called an aioli when you elevate your mayo by adding other herbs or um, yeah. condiments it becomes an aioli so this is an aioli with dill and garlic mm -hmm. so that is one option you can also use 
uh, cream cheese, but make sure it's softened. Don't use it right out of the fridge. Make sure you soften it, especially if you're making cold sandwiches to go on road trips or whatever. You know what? Maybe I'll do another whole session on sandwiches and how you can travel with them. Yes, that's a good idea. That's a good one. I like yeah, that's that. a good we'll idea. Do, we'll do a whole session of summer sandwiches. Yeah, okay? yes, yes. All right. So let's start into, let's get into assembling this. I'm not a fan of tomatoes, but I've kept some just for the sake of this video. I hate tomatoes, like from the core of my heart, but <laughs> uh, it's just here. Okay, let's just leave it at that. So I'm okay. going to use a little bit of cream cheese and you don't want to do too much, right? Especially okay. if your bread is soft, you don't want to do too much. You want to do just enough to create a barrier between the bread and your cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm using the Persian cucumbers. If you use the Indian cucumbers, you have to salt them, draw out the moisture and then use them. Otherwise, it tastes you know, Otherwise, I'm it like releases the, I, a lot of moisture, yeah. right? So I'm like the Persian. really, really yeah. thin. If you have a mandolin yes. spicer, you can cut mm -hmm. it with that yeah or you can cut it just like this so i'm going to just flip the camera so my facebook family can see it really well okay we want to see that how you do the sandwich oh, i'm sorry let me just turn the screen yeah right. yeah that's better that's better okay yeah. so at I any point if you see. feel like you can't see just let me know yeah no, now we can see okay so i'm going to serve this as an open sandwich so it has to be like you know very pretty and dainty so just try to play with colors if you have something green then you want to add something red if you have something red at the bottom you want to add Hmm. like herbs or whatever well, you want to do uh the only thing you did was uh, put um, the, the cream I've cheese just put the cream cheese so far okay. nothing else nothing else okay and just try to use even slices so that it looks uniform and if it's thinly sliced on a mandolin it looks really really pretty because then you know it's, mm -hmm. it's a very visual thing i think i'm just I, am, I might have one lady's coming over one day for a like a lunch or brunch or something. All so right. That, so you know what to do. I can here. make this. I can make this. Yeah. Kind, this kind is so of easy. Things. It's really easy. It's not rocket science. You can absolutely make this. You know, it works really well any time of day with a cup of chai, with thinking, some coffee. I'm thinking, shall I make it or should I call you to come and help me? What shall I do? Let's I have have whatever, whatever <laughs> makes you happy, do that. Okay, so now I'm going to, for, for finishing the topping of this, I'm going to use mayo. If you don't eat mayo, or if you don't eat uh, regular mayo, then you can uh, use vegan mayo. You can also use just Greek yogurt. You can use mm -hmm. sour cream and make um, it out of that. Did you add? Did you add anything in the mayo? Um, this is a dill. This is dill and dill hot sauce and, and garlic yeah. that I added to the mayo oh, okay. to make an aioli out of it, like the way I explained in the okay. beginning. And oh, I'm just okay. gonna drizzle this. Ideally, okay. if you have it in a squeeze bottle, it it really comes out pretty. Yes. All my squeeze bottles have chutney in them, so. None is available right now. So I'm just going to smear and slather. Also, when you slather the veggies with something, it acts as a barrier and prevents it from drying out. So let's say you're setting out a really pretty platter, but people are not coming for the next hour and a half. Right? right. You don't want to be sitting there making sandwiches for 30 people in the last minute. So, so Nupur, can I, with something, yes. can I ask you or say something? Sure. Right here. Joe, the tomatoes that you have sliced, I yeah. see yeah. that it has seeds in it. Yeah. So can we remove the seeds or is it better to remove the seeds if we are keeping them for an hour or 45 minutes? If you're going to make the sandwich, always, it, it'll depend on what kind of tomato it is. It has to be a very firm tomato. Like you, if I press it, it's right. not going to make a dent. There's no juice coming out of the tomato. Like I'm pressing really hard, right? but there is no juice coming out. So if you have a firm tomato, then only you should use it in a sandwich. Do not use uh pulpy tomatoes do not okay. try to use tomatoes that are going bad and say oh you know what i'm going to use it and make get some mileage out of the tomatoes that are uh, going soft that's not the tomato that you need to use for sandwich those tomatoes you're going to use for your shakshuka right yeah so if you have tomatoes that are already softening up this is what you're going to make what we just made right for the people that are just tuning into my channel hello muktai good morning we just finished making um, egg shakshuka and we made turkish zucchini fritters so we are plating an entire a uh, brunch menu for Mother's Day. That's what we're doing. Now, the thing that really takes it over the top is this. It's called bagel seed, everything but the everything bagel seasoning. Everything bagel, yes. Right? So this is easily available in all these Trader Joe's everywhere. So you're going to take that mm -hmm. and you're going to generously sprinkle that on top of your sandwich. What is it called again? Everything bagel? Everything, everything bagel. bagel seasoning. So it's oh, not okay. the bagel, but it's just all of the right, right, right. seasoning. Yes, I got combination. it. Combination. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful to see you too, my darling. And then the last thing that you're going to do is now, if you want to serve this whole thing as one, you can. If you want to make it a little more dainty, you can cut it into quarters. 
the best time to cut a sandwich is if you let it sit in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes so that all of the cream cheese and everything can harden up and then it's a clean cut okay right i want to tell everybody that uh, nupur is making a she's showing us different different items that you doing guys a mother's day eat. brunch which is mother's really day brunch. inspired and now, if you want to do all three, you're more than welcome. Watch the program again. So we have the dill. The one. And I'm going to go in and add some paprika. Mm -hmm. You can do Hungarian paprika, smoked paprika. You can do tahin, whatever kind of seasoning, whatever kind of red thing you have at home, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. And this is going to go. I'm going to uh, not okay. wait to put it in the fridge. I will My mouth is so much water, you can't drink <laughs> anymore. I don't know what to do. Should I grab it? If you wanna I want to grab it. that and eat it. And eat it. Yeah. Wait, okay. I want to grab it. Come over. <laughs> I'm home. I'm home for a little bit. So come over and eat it. Oh so if, uh, I'm not going to wait to put it in the fridge. I'm going to cut it right now. But when you do this at home, take this whole thing, put it in the fridge, let it set for 15, 20, 30 oh, minutes, okay. and then cut it so that it will be a nice and clean cut. Okay. I'm going to remove this herb. Okay, so that means you can make it be, uh, beforehand. Yes, you can. You before, can. Beforehand. You, sort okay. of, you should actually make it, but Joe, don't cut it before, cut it just before serving. Oh, okay. That's the trick. Yeah, that's the trick. Do like a good sandwich. If you want to make it ahead of time, like, you know, people have uh, sandwiches for catering and parties and all that stuff. How do you think they do it? Yeah. They're yeah, not making it on two minutes before. I know, I know, I know. All okay, then this one we don't need. Uh, 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 put. Yeah. You, put, you, don't have to, you don't have to put another bread on top. This is good no, enough. No, these are open face sandwiches. Open for, yeah, okay. If you're making it for evening tea parties, then you have to do another bread on top. Okay, this is for brunch or lunch. Yeah. This right? is for brunch. So brunch is usually you're already eating so many carbs, you want to do open face sandwiches so that you're not eating right. too many carbs, right? So this is what it's going to look like. I have a sandwich board here and I'm going to... Wow, looks so awesome. My God. Serve this right here. Yeah, we really want to, uh, I, really, I would love it if you do another session just for sandwiches, get different ideas. A, sandwich session. a lot of people ask uh, about it, so I'm definitely yeah. going to do it. That's really so I'm just going to try to make it look pretty. And, you know, visually you have to see like yes. where, where it looks best. So this is what it looks like. If anybody wants to take a screenshot from my Queen's Curry Kitchen family, go ahead. If anybody wants oh, to. I, I, I didn't take it. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking. Okay. Hold it again, hold it again. I'm going okay. to take it right now. I want to take it. I'll show you the entire platter once I'm done. So we'll be taking okay. Okay. pictures of everything. Okay, so this is what your open face sandwich looks like. And these are served cold. So the colder it is, the better it is. This is everything. This is our three recipes that we created today and completed. So wow. I'm going to put this aside. So and now I'm going to show you the entire presentation. So hang in there with me. Give me two minutes till I clean up this space because this is our focal point and I don't want to miss out on anything. Nupur, you are talking about it until now. So, yeah. can we also add arugula, you know, on the sides? Yeah, that, absolutely. Um, I, the, uh, so, the brunch party that I'm catering for Sunday, I will be adding microgreens to this. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you can you can do a lot of things, especially if it's a closed sandwich, you can do arugula. Just do anything that's going to hold up, right? So, yeah. you, could, you could do stuff like this too. You could do these microgreens. They are really good on top of alfalfa sandwiches. Alfalfa sprouts. Oh, yeah. I've yeah seen they, they give a very dainty look. So we can do a couple of those. Yeah. You can do it right on top of the sandwich. You can do it on the side. Right. Yeah. So just trying to make it as healthy and wholesome as possible. Also, it's like visually such a pretty look. Yeah. Yeah. They look, they look very uh, appealing. And, and like, it's very elegant. It's, it's, you know, it doesn't take, even if you did just the sandwich and a cup of coffee for your mom, I think she'll be pleased. Right. Also, if you're a new mom and you don't have that kind of time, but you still want to do something for your mom, you should yeah, be wow. Look at that. It's all in the tray. Look at that. Oh, my <laughs> God. Mooper is all ready to give to somebody. Now, who are you going to give I'm this to? Who's coming? I don't know. Come over. Know. Somebody needs to come over to my house. Who's coming? They're living there. Bye. I'm going to come right, I'm gonna come right now. I'm just going to rearrange things because uh, this tray may not be big enough for everything, but let's see. It's an art just to try to fit everything. So let's put the biggest thing first. Okay, that goes down. And then this goes in. Like that. I have mm -hmm. this. I have my dates. I have my fritters. So I think so. Fritters can also be served really nicely with any kind of cream or whatever. And they taste really good with the yogurt dipping sauce and whatnot. And then of course I have some fruits. 
I don't have any cheeses on this board, which I should have, but I don't. Okay, so this is the oh. full platter. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take a picture of that. Wait so a this with like a nice cup of Turkish coffee or cardamom coffee or masala chai would be really good. You can serve some pita breads with butter on the side. You can serve yeah. some garlic bread on the side. This is the entire No, we'll just hold that for a second, yeah, please. Yeah, sure, sure. If anybody wants to take a picture, feel free to do that. I did. I Thank did. you. If this inspired you, I put some pineapple so, you know, you can have some fresh My milk. pleasure. Oh, oh yes. So I can see that. And yes. And walnuts. So, you know, just a munch. And on your fruit, you can put something like a tahini dressing, which like really spices it up. Mm -hmm. This is like a lemony... What is it? Spicy for? kind of a sprinkling of seasoning, and it's really, really yummy. So try to use it on your mango salad. You can get it in Costco. Any kind of tropical fruit tastes really good. Mm -hmm. So this is our entire spread for Mother's Day. You can see we have some walnuts, we have some uh, dates from Syria, we have our wow. open face cucumber sandwiches, we have fresh pineapples, we have a dill dipping sauce for the zucchini fritters right there. Beautiful. And I mean, this is we beautiful have our shakshuka, yeah. which is right there. So if I can do it, you can do it too. It's really not that complicated. I've given you from the simple to the complicated. And a lot of times, you know, you have a lot of help from store-bought ingredients. So try to make the most of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, do a combination. Not everything has to be made at home from scratch. Try to do a combination of whatever is available and, you know, make the most of it. So that's our presentation for Mother's Day. I don't know if you're a mom yet or not, or if your mom lives with you or not. I am not going to see either one of my moms, not my mother-in-law, not my mom. But this is something I truly enjoy doing and thankfully I'm featuring parties for someone else's Mother's Day. So I hope this inspired you to do something similar for your mom. Let me also, um, onto this tray, let me add what my daughter sent me for Mother's Day. It's a card that says, Happy Mother's Day to the best mom in the world. Wow, so that's, that's the best thing, in. best. And she also sent me these chocolates. This is not a, this is not a sponsored post. I just think that these are just so pretty that they should be. Oh, that's so nice. So she sent me chocolates from Madhu. Uh, it's a it's a brand that they have. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of that one. Madhu. Lemon coriander, uh, cardamom really? dark, coconut milk cashew, and iduki black pepper. So these are, I all I, I already finished. There was one more, which the name I can't rec recall right now. But mm. these are the chocolates that came. It's like a really nice uh, spring bouquet of stuff. And um, beautiful, right? I've never tasted Madhu. I'm gonna ch check it I'm out. I'm gonna bring it on Monday, so you, I, because I'm um, not gonna eat all this by myself. So I'll, I'll bring I, it on Monday. So just hold gonna... up the Madhu one more time. Yes, sure. Madhu, different, it's different flavors. Also. Very nice. It's yeah. Called Madhu, M A D H U, mm -hmm. and it's got a, it's got cacao, so it's not really chocolate, chocolate, right? But cocoa is made in cocoa. More yes, cocoa, cocoa. cocoa yeah. Yeah. I like cocoa better than. A... So not not loaded with sugar. It's not. Yeah, loaded yeah. With so this is our new Mother's Day platter with the Mother's Day card from my daughter. Wow! Uh, look at that. Included. So now it's fully complete, right? So this is nice. what we Thank did Thank you today. so much. I mean, I've written Mother's Day. I've been today. So <laughs> the, so let let the let the celebrations begin. Let the festivities begin. Yes. begin. Let's take the time to honor. All the mothers that have made so many sacrifices so that we are what we are today. Also, I think motherhood doesn't come with a cooking ma with a manual. There's no owner's manual. You get this kid, you bring it home, and then you're like, okay, what am I supposed to do with it? So basically, the only roadmap that we have is the kind of mother we had, right? So if you had a terrible mm -hmm. mom, we try not to be the terrible mom. If we had a great mom, we try to be better than her, like whatever it is. Uh, but every mom is trying to do the best that she can. Also, if you don't have a very cordial relationship with your mom, please forgive her for whatever she didn't know. If she knew any better, she would probably do better. So, you know, a lot of people in our society have problems with, you know, my mom did this, my mom did that. Let it go. It's really not worth it. It's not a good time. It's really, really time important. to let go. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, you what, what I put Also, one, one quick thing I will say. Yeah. We have to do respect. Mother in law, kabi karna chahiye. Yes, mothers, mothers in law, time, aunts, um, masses, 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 everybody, masses, yes. Because you yes. know, it's, it's never just one woman that inspires you. The yes. kind of mother you become is always a combination of so many uh, maternal energies that you grew up around, whether it's your grandmother, whether it's your right. neighbor's mom, or whether it's your best friend's mom. And you see little, little things and little in different people, and then you're like, oh, I like that. When I have my kids, I'm going to do this. And hopefully exactly. you remember that. And so we're always a combination of all the mothers who inspired us. So as we get older and as we become moms, 
we also carry a huge responsibility yeah, exactly. to leave a good um, legacy mm -hmm. for the people who are people. looking to us to get uh, because, uh, because, uh, we, are no. we are going through all that when in childhood we absorb everything yeah. and then you when you become a mother you never know who's um, watching you thinking so, that you know i want to be a mom like we know when you or, become a mother yeah. those things come in come in handy because they come yeah. right away automatically yeah. you get that feeling and you already have you that feel, image of you know exactly you. so and one more thing that i have to tell to desi moms please stop telling your kids what will people say like nobody gives a shit what people will say <laughs> Thankfully, I never had a mom who said what will she know. She would say what will people say when I would go to school and I would refuse to wear a sweater. I would say oh, I only need the blazer. I don't want to wear the sweater. She would say no, you have to wear all the layers because otherwise people will say that we don't buy you enough warm clothes. And I was like, what? I know, I know. So yeah, that that's shit it. never that's made any it. sense to me. I was always um, rebellious of authority, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wear it because, but I. You are right. Uh, right. You are right. I've when never you say what bothered about what say because... people say. I didn't bother about it when I was four. I didn't bother about it when I was forty, and I'm sure as I'll not bothered about it when I'm going to be ninety. So please stop telling your kids. Log kya kahenge? Log kahenge nahi. Logon ka kam hai kehna. They are very people. They call those things. Now that we are mothers, that we have because we are living in this country at the moment. You know, like we are in this country. So those things don't work. Okay, kya sochega? Those things our kids don't believe in all those things. Nobody gives a shit. Like no, I didn't even give a shit when I was in India because I, I grew up in India in the seventies, eighties, and nineties. I didn't give a shit. Like I'm like okay, if they have something to say, it's their problem. If they're talking about me, that means they have so much time in their life that they're not doing something with their life. That's why they're not here. Yeah. People so we, we just life. have to think about now and then our so kids. So if, if if people are watching, then give them a good show. <laughs> give them a good performance. Like let it freaking be worth it. If they are saying look, they can get look. Then people are gonna see people. Who are mm -hmm. these people? Like, is there an email? Is there a phone number? Like, can I call this person? And you know, like, really? <laughs> yeah. So we have to just so tell. Um, people I don't give a shit. The kids, say, let the kids. Let the kids. I have love everybody. Yeah, you know, but uh, love them. Do whatever you want to do. As a mother, as a mother, like mothers, I think the kids have to grow on their own. They learn their own things. We cannot in a certain time, age, we cannot tell them what to do. They have to make their own decisions. If you're still and also grandkids, thinking, I feel like when you have them. grandkids, you kind of relive your life and your rules are different. And I look at my mom and I'm like, oh, some rules are still the same. Like, you know, if it gets dark and my daughter's playing in the park, then my mom expects her to come home. It was yeah. the same thing like 50 years ago when we were kids. It was the same. Nothing has changed. Right? Um, you're right. And then some things are different. Like, you know, uh, she's she's different for my uh, for my daughter she's different for my nephew and you know she's a little bit different like she's more chill she's more relaxed she's more participating in their jokes and yeah, when like you, uh, when you growing up, i think she was too stressed and trying to manage everything right I know. So i'm just gonna sign off from my queen square kitchen page and then i'll come back to you for the conversation but everybody that joined me today and thank you so much be blissful be flavorful have a thank great thank you so great much everyone party. Check out my I website, join in the Nooper. I'm going to chime in. Thank you. And then enjoy it. Yes. Hope you have Please a great join Monday. Meena Ji tomorrow. Live soon. So yeah, thank you so much, um, everyone. On, so you'll know whenever I'm going live. Bye. Okay, so Thanks. I'm just going to say one thing that please, everybody who came and whoever can uh, uh, like to cook this thing, go back and see it again. One more time is good. Because you know what? Then you'll get, a, if, you, if you miss something, you'll, you'll hear it again. How Nupur explained everything to you guys. So I think if not all, at least one thing you can try. If, if you want to try all, that's good too. But if you can't, try it one thing and see how it comes out. And Nupur is going to come and do something else for us in a couple of weeks, right? And it's all cooking in live time. So you've seen yeah. it in real time, how much time it takes. So it's how not something it that, takes. oh, mm -hmm. I've that edited it this video and I'm saying, oh, you, I mean, know, you have to make it. Uh, and you're sitting there the whole day in the kitchen it's really not one of those things i mean it's a it's a you have to prep prep before that's for sure for everything that you do you have to you prep have to chop an onion, you have to grate a yeah. zucchini like that's, so that's the only that's prep it. that i did i didn't do any i'm more. just telling everybody who's joining that please prep yeah. uh, prep picaro then you do it then you can make all of them but sure. uh, if not make one but anyway i want to wish all of you a happy happy mother's day but do join us again tomorrow because we're having Shukrana. And that's going to be a little bit of, uh, we're going to have a celebrate, uh, a special, it's going to be ce celebration for Mother's Day again. It's going to be yeah. a special. So we will do a sandwich special one of these days. Today is not that day. But thank you to everybody that's going right. to join us. Please thank share so much, this with, in your group so that anybody or everybody who wants to do an easy Mother's Day can, you know, take inspiration from something like this. Uh, we appreciate all the shares and the likes that we get on this show, but do share it do spread it out to more and more people who can watch it and make it an easy mother's day and don't forget that nupur has her own 
a queen's curry kitchen and uh, she can uh, if you need and if you have any occasion or something do be very she can cater it yes i cater it. and i not only do indian food i do mediterranean i do indo thai indo chinese um it's very different from what you get uh in the restaurants because everything is made fresh and i don't use any preservatives in my food all the food is made with olive oil and mm -hmm. himalayan pink salt so yes i do various kinds of cuisines just call and ask what it is that you need and we can try and you also do thai food right i, I don't yes, know indo thai yes indo thai indo chinese indo yes. tech mex okay. i do all of those yes. all that good so good to know everyone so please you're signing off now thank you so much for joining please forward like nupur said Tell your friends to join and do listen to the program again to get the exact details of the recipes. Okay, so we're signing off now. Thank you so much, Nandini and Nupur. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nandini Ji. Good to thank see you. you again. Thank you very much. Good to see thank you. you. See you Monday. And yeah. Yeah. see you soon. We'll see you uh, stay tomorrow. Well, stay happy. Stay healthy always. All of you. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll see you back here again. I wish everybody tomorrow. a very, very happy Mother's Day. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.